<coughs> I've got games, so many games, I don't know what to do with all the games. And if you just want to chat, let's talk in bits and bites, cause I'm down like that. When I'm at the Goodwills, or when I'm checking Craigslist, all I'm thinking about is my NES. It's just something I do, it's like the best of the time. Without further ado, let's end this rhyme. Hey everyone, it's me, Justin, aka Goodwill Hunter, and I'm back with another pickups. eBay, Goodwill, and GameStop. And um, just so you know, the end of the month, it's almost time to draw for the contest. I'll leave, again, link below. Uh, if you haven't already submitted your entry and to the contest, you have until the 31st, which hopefully I can then draw on the 1st of February. So, again, do your video response, gets you five entries. Just commenting uh, on the question gets you one. So, anyways, so went to Goodwill last week, picked up a couple of Xbox games, and uh, went back there this week because different color, half price. These two were, um, so I picked them up. Um, I got Outlaw Volleyball and Outlaw Volleyball Red Hot. Um, this one was, can you see that? Blockbuster exclusive. Um, so, I picked them up. 250 now I got it. It's kind of like, uh, what is it? Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, but, you know, I've played the golf one. They're fun. Um, you build your meter up and then unleash, like, some crazy shot or whatever. Um, but I had to change one of the stickers on one of those, so, don't tell me. Um, but yeah, I went to GameStop, got a shitload of games. Um, I got me a bunch, and I'm telling you, you have to go there. These games were cheap. I'm a cheap guy, especially when you gotta collect on a budget, so I had to be good about it. Um, I picked up some loose ones, too, because I got a bunch. Took me a while to go through them all, but hey, you find the good ones because it takes time. Um, but I did pick up Red Steel for all of you who saw that. Um, it's fun. It's a uh, obviously it's for the Wii, and it uses the uh, you know nunchuck and Wiimote, um, the Wiimote for the gun and the katana, because um, you can dual wield. Uh, I think I picked it up because I've been watching a lot of Kill Bill this past couple of nights. So, it was like a launch title, so you have to get it. Um, and it was only like three bucks, I think. Um, what other ones? I picked up a lot of these games, too. I'm going to have to say, I have a lot that are Sega games. And for some reason, they seem to always be the cheapest in the store. I don't understand why. Um... You know, ever since they got out of the hardware business and into software, these have been kind of, I think, letting the brand go. Um, a lot of those Sonic games, like Sonic Unleashed and Sonic freaking Air Ride, whatever, those games suck. Um, but I was surprised. This one was only $2.50. Um, and it's Knights Journey of Dreams. And um, again, it was only like 2 bucks, and so I picked it up. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it could be that bad, really. I mean, if anything, the nostalgia from playing the Saturn Nights into Dreams should be fun. But I guess a lot of people thought they dropped the ball. Go fig. I've been talking about this game, about how I passed on it, but I was luckily able to find it at the GameStop. Um, so I saw it, and I, I grabbed it. And that's Miramasa, the Demon Blade. It's another uh, Vanillaware game. If you haven't uh, played, um, the visuals in these games are just top-notch. Um, if you ever played on the PS2, um, they had um, Odin Sphere. If you own a Wii, get this. If you own a PS2, get Odin Sphere. I'm telling you. 2D side-scrolling, um, kind of RPG-ish. Uh, but the sprites and the, and the colors, they're just top-notch. Great great. I hope they come out with some more um, some more games like that. Uh, and last game I picked up that one day was a Xbox 360 game for a franchise that has kind of gone into 
despair, so to speak, because this one was, I had it for the PC and it was not good. Uh, it was Quake 4. Um, if you ever played Doom, if you ever played, um, what is it, Heretic, first person shooter. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it's not like the, you know, like Quake 3 or Quake or Quake 2. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say about it. For five bucks, I won't pass. Because you got to thrift. You got to be thrifty. Um, today, though, I picked up a bunch of games. Um, focus. Force push. Use the force. Um, I picked up a bunch of PS2 games. Because um, they were all really cheap. And um, I didn't have any of these. So I decided to pick them up. We got Ark the Lad, End of Darkness, and it was only three fifty nine. I never played any of the Ark Lads. At least I haven't played the one on the PS One. I I guess the ones on the PS Two aren't as great, but I mean, for that much, I won't pass. So I had to pick up Ark the Lad, the um, Twilight Twilight of the Spirits, two sixty nine. I gave it a shot. I think I might have to play the one for the PS1, though. So, Gamer Emporium, I think you have that one. <laughs> uh, I picked up Unlimited Saga. It was only... 3 bucks. Um, really, really, really good game. Well, Romancing the Saga is better, but... Um, for that price, it's great. Square Enix. And, um, you know, they got really good visuals. kind of reminds me of, like... Uh, Oh, what do you call it? Xenogears. Um, it's really good sprite detail. That's what I'm, I guess I'm trying to get at. Uh, we picked up Onamusha 2. Um, this one was only $2. And the last one I picked up was Yakuza. And it was only 3 bucks too. So, cheap. I know I usually don't buy separate loose discs, but I figure you don't find these games too much, and for that price, I'll print out some reproduction labels. Force push. And um, I also picked up one PS1 game that I was going to pass on because it was like this, so I thought maybe it was a reproduction case, but I turned it around, and it was Metal Gear Solid Portal Ops. Love me some Metal Gear. Um... Now I just need to get Metal Gear Acid um, and Peace Walker, obviously. Maybe I'll just get the HD collection. But you got to go to GameStops. They're getting rid of all their PSP games. And I've been finding really good ones, but they're starting to get sparse. So they must be consolidating or just getting rid of um, a lot of their games. So the last game I picked up um, yesterday for the PS3. Um, was another Sega game, um, and it was only five bucks. I couldn't pass on it. Actually, I think it might be interesting to play, but I think because of the development, um, the way that the game was produced, they kind of almost scrapped the whole thing towards the end. And the way they, they, I guess it looked good on paper, but when they tried to actually incorporate it, it wasn't. It wasn't what people were expecting, and then all the hype just it kind of pissed a lot of people off. Um, the game's Alpha Protocol. And um, it's kind of like a uh, Splinter Cell, but you can, the more times that you you know use a weapon or don't use a weapon, it kind of, you get better stats. And um, I, I, I don't know why it turned a lot of people off. Um, for five bucks, I'll give it a shot. I mean, it couldn't be that bad. A lot of people hate on games, but, I mean, even some of the crappy games, they're, I mean, yes, they have glaring faults, and sometimes they can be a little broken, but they're not that bad. Alright, so the last three games that I picked up were um, PS2 games that I picked up today, and, um, oh, four. I picked up two manuals. Now, I didn't pay for these, I just stuck them um, in with the other games that I got. It's behind the other manuals. I know. Whatever. He's not going to miss them. I picked up Sukaden 4's manual, and I picked up Final Fantasy X. 
Ken's manual. I've been looking for it. I can never find this. I can never find a complete one that has this, so... I took it, I'm sorry. Uh, but the games that I picked up for the PS2, I picked up a copy. I never played any of the Shining Force. Um, another Sega game. This was only like seven bucks. Um, but it looks rather interesting. I was watching some gameplay of it, and um, it looks pretty good. I'm um, kind of interested to play it. I don't know if anyone could tell me if this is a good starting... Obviously, I'd like Shining Force on... Uh, what is it? The uh, Sega Saturn's Shining Force? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Pretty sure it is. Um, picked up. Onimusha 3, Demon Siege. It's got uh, Jean Reno. Reno. You know, the guy from The Professional. And um, I like the Unimu I like the Onimusha games. I think they're... Uh, the first one I played, man, I love that game. Um, I think I like, just like the whole demons and samurais and stuff like that. So, that was only four bucks. And the last one I picked up was the original. The original... Well... Was he the original PlayStation mascot? I don't know. I think Crash Bandicoot would have to be the original. But he was close. He was Parappa la Rappa 2. Um, and if you get, what is it? The PlayStation 3 Battle Arena or whatever the hell it's called. The play is Parappa la Rappa. And it's a fun little rhythm game. And you just, you know, it's kind of like Dance Dance. You just match, you know, left, right. You know, L1, L2, X, circle, square. And it's all to fun, funny songs. And uh, the last thing I picked up was a DS case. This was only $2.50. And it's uh, an official Nintendo DS case. So, the one I have is kind of a knockoff and I don't like it. Go figure now. I gotta have, like... Ooh, it's got to be an official brand. Um, Alright, but this is the moment you've been waiting for. I know, I'm sorry. I kind of went really quickly through those games, but that's fine, because you wanted to see this. Alright, now I have had to reshoot this, so these are already open. Um, but the game's still in here. Alright, now I've wanted this game for quite some time. Um, you're never going to find this in the open. At least I have i don't think you ever will. Um, if you stumble across it, you, that would be golden. I would look for other games around it. Um, but it's one of the reasons to own a Turbo Graphics, if, if not only to say, I own Splatterhouse. Look into the Terror Mask. Fuck. It's a guy. He's got chainsaws for arms. Um, I'm just a little miffed to the label. You know, it's a little messed up. It doesn't actually say Splatterhouse. But um, I got it for 30 bucks, which is like 10 bucks cheaper than what it goes for. I offered the guy 30 and he took it. So it's complete. So I can knock this one off finally. But, alright. Now, this one I've been even wanting way longer. Um, and I never owned it when I owned the Super Nintendo back in the day. It is one of. You know, it's always on everyone's list of, you know, RPGs, top RPGs of the Super Nintendo, and rightfully so, because it is a great game. Um, yeah, I mean, whenever he does come up, or it's, it's on eBay, I mean, you can find them. Between 70 to 80, I think, is a good rough estimate of it, just loose. Um, I got a deal on it, though. I paid... 100 bucks for these two things, okay? Now, the game that I've had on my radar for the longest time is Chrono Trigger, alright? I finally bit the bullet. The label is probably the only thing that's a little, a little worn. Um, it's... Man, I love this game. And it's sad that I never owned it, um, you know, growing up. But um, I'm glad now I can finally check this off the list. Now I just got to get some of the other harder to find games. But um, the reason I paid the hundred bucks um, 
was that I got the strategy guide for it as well. And, I mean, it's just chock full of, like, you know, everything. Everything. Colorful little illustrations. I mean, it's the official... See that? See that? Official player's guide. These things, I love these things. And, um... They, I mean, I usually see this thing, it can go anywhere between... I want to say, like, 50... 60 bucks alone by itself. So... Uh, he wanted 125, but I offered him 100. He took it, so maybe I should have offered him less. But I think that's a really good value. I mean, the game itself goes for 70 plus the 30 for the thing. Yeah. But um, I need to get more. I need to get Secret of Mana. I need to get that one. The guy at the video game trader, he has one, but it's all kind of beat up. But I do have one more thing coming. And I can guarantee you. Where is it? Where did I do it? Um, I just had it. Well, anyways, yeah, sorry, I'm a little discombobulated. But, uh, anywho, guys, the link to the contest is below. Um, so if you haven't entered, you have still have some time. Um, comments below, like, subscribe, up top. As always, keep it real. I wait to see your vids. I want to see your vids. And uh yeah guys, take it easy. Have a good night. Be safe.